In Jesus Christ, there is no distance or separation between the medium and the message. It is the one case where we can say that the medium and the message are fully one and the same. I think another way to say that is that Jesus Christ fully saved the appearances, which is why he could say, you've seen me, you've seen the Father, I and the Father are one. There is no diminishment between him and the Father. And I think, I've been thinking about these things again lately, because I think what McLuhan is saying essentially here is the same thing as incarnational theology, and it's just an acknowledgement that Christ is the fullness and perfection of that. And I think that when a human being attains to their own perfection, theosis, God became man, that man should become God, we do the same thing. The medium and the message is the same. There is no diminishment between our value or our love and our action. There's zero divided man. We are, our eye is one and our whole body is full of light. And um, I've been thinking about this recently because I posted a clip from Peugeot at Ralston College and, I f and he, he's talking about iconography, but in there he really speaks well of, he speaks very well about identity and it, as far as I can tell, it's essentially what I was saying a number of years ago all the time, is that to exist is to be bodied. Uh, to exist is to have a body. There is no existence without a body, and Peugeot talks about it in there because a body is an identity. An identity is this, not that. It's, it's a distinction. It's boundaries. It's, but those things are in relationship to each other, so it's not ever fully autonomous or separated from what is outside it but that's what it means to have an identity and we all have many identities and then he has this line there that he says um, pride is an excess of identity and I have a clip I should put it well you can find it if you want to it's I just posted it on a uh, just a post on my channel I guess and, um, or it's in my clips of where he talks about this exact point. And he talks about, you know, if, if you try to define identity too much or not even define, because that's propositional. If you try to enclose identity into too much of a unity, it's this hyper right hand side of God. It's a hyper order and you, um, and you kill it. You can kill it through hyper identity. Uh, that would be like identitarianism or, um, you know, arguably different political movements in the past couple hundred years, um, or anything. If, if you make any aspect of your identity more so than the absolute, the absolute core of your identity is the white stone name, which is Christ in me, which is where your, your white stone name is where the medium and the message are one you are fully living into the whole mystery of Christ, which is Christ in me. Because Christ is the only place where those two are the same, and then wherever Christ is, and Christ plays in 10,000 places, in his body, in its fullness. So, um, I just thought it was a banger line to say that uh, the fullness, or an excess of identity is pride. And I wanted to riff on that, and I think it's related to this quote. So that's it.